Hello everyone, my name is Jonas. I am the Customer Experience Manager here in Adversus. Um, I've made this introduction video to show, show you how, mo how fastly and most quickly to get started with, uh, with using Adversus. Um, I'm going to go through uh, the basics of Adversus, uh, creating a campaign, creating uh, leads, uh, how to use the dialer and, and then a couple of more things. Uh, but again, this is just a quick way to, uh, to get started. Um, what I want to do first is I would like to create a campaign. A campaign is a list of or is the leads that you wish to call. So we create a campaign saying, okay, uh, which leads are we, are we calling? Um, for this, I'll just create a campaign called test. So this is test leads. You can give it a name, whatever you, who you like. Um, there is quite a few settings um, in the campaign. I'll just go through the, the most uh, valuable to you. Um, I'll go to the phone menu here and what we can see is that we can choose a dialer method. We have a manual dialer which means that the phoner has to auto, uh, manually uh, press a green or a red button in order to start or close a conversation or a call. You can also use a progressive dialer. In the progressive dialer we are saying that if the lead you're calling has not answered the phone within 18 seconds, we normally recommend, um, then we'll simply just go to the next lead to be more efficient. Um, the last thing we can do is we can do a predictive dialer. Um, a predictive dialer actually calls multiple people and more people than you are actually on the campaign or more phoners that you are than calling on the campaign. Um, you need to be at least five uh, to have the predictive dialer working, but we do recommend about eight to ten phoners. But yeah, then it will call more people than you're actually online. Um, it is very efficient, but it do have the possibility to drop calls, which means that a customer picks up the phone, but there, there are no phoners available to answer. Um, for now, I'll simply just set it as a manual, uh, manual method. You can also choose the country code. This is only if you do not have a uh, country code uh, on your leads that you do upload. Um, if you do have the, custom, uh, the country code on the phone number on the leads in the Excel spreadsheet, for example, then you do not need to have a country code. If you don't, you do need to have a country code. Um, as you can see, you're calling from a hidden number. You can call out from adverses for, for whatever number you like. Uh, you just need to verify it. Uh, you need to verify it in order to say that you do own the number. Uh, we, you, when you can verify it through a text message. Um, you can also use the fo uh, user's number, which is the users that you do uh, create in adverses have a specific number. But again, you do need to verify the number on each user, but that's done under user settings. Um, I'll just choose the hitting number for, uh, for this one. Um, we can actually just, if you wanted to, we could save the, the settings. Um, so now we've actually created a campaign. Um, what I want to do now is I want to upload some leads. Um, so I'll simply go to upload leads and then I will choose a file that I know works. Uh, let me see here, it's this one, companies to call. Okay, so now I'm processing the file. Okay, so what we do do now is, okay, we can actually take a tour if we wanted to, but uh, I'm good, <laughs> I know how it works. Um, okay, just to give you an idea of how it works is that I've opened an Excel spreadsheet, as you can see over here. And as you can see, the name is the heading in column A. This is actually the name that's here, and you can say right beneath it, Julvid, which is the Danish name, is actually right here. Column B is phone, and this is actually over here. Um, we do have this uh, account, it's a brand new account like you would have. Um, so we actually need to create a new column for, e for each column in the Excel spreadsheet. So we say this is the heading. We want to call this column name in adverses. Um, and we want to say that the type is name. Okay, we can also say, okay, we want to have a column called phone in adverses or field, and this is a telephone type. Again, address, address, and address field, and so on. Um, you can see that it actually says the company is a regular text. You can edit it to a name field, for instance, if you do want to, because it, does, it actually is a name. Um, I want to talk to you about match on this field. So what you're actually saying is that if you do have this phone number or any of the phone numbers in your Excel spreadsheet multiple times, then we will only upload it once. 
because that we don't want to have multiple leads with the same number because then we're actually just calling the same customers over and over. So we can match on a field if we do want to and then we're going to duplicate check it. Um, however, I'm not going to do it here because again, this is just test leads and as you can see, the number is the same all the way down. So it would actually just, oh sorry, <laughs> it would actually just, yeah, put in the same number, all the, uh, only put in one number in this one. But we're actually just going to set insert leads into the campaign and when it has actually done this, yeah, success, we have now uploaded 149 leads. So what we can actually go do now is we can start the dialer, but I'll start the campaign on dialer, but I'll just, I'll go to the dialer. So now you can see how it actually works because now we're actually ready to give it a try. So we have a campaign called test with 149 available leads, the ones we have uploaded. So I'll simply just go to test over here and then I can actually see how the dialer looks. Okay, so you can see the name on the customer. You can see that it has automatically put in the number, which is down here, you can see the address, etc., etc. Um, what you can see over here in the right side is the data you can actually also use. So there is a note field. So let's assume that we call this guy and say, talk to him. He wanted me to call back in one day. Then you will go down here and say, okay, I'll call him in a day. And then you simply just save it as a redial. As you can see here, it automatically changed to redial. So I'll simply just save it and automatically I will go to the next one. Okay, let's assume that we call this guy and he says, okay, I do want to buy or I do want to have an appointment depending on what you do. Okay, well then it's a success because a success actually means the positive outcome of a call. So if it's a success, it's the positive outcome. So he said yes. Um, let's just save this as a success. Then we're going to call this one and let's assume that she says that she is not interested. Okay, then we say she's not interested. It could also be that it is an unqualified lead. That actually means that for whatever reason it's the lead is out of your target group and it could also be invalid. Invalid means that the number doesn't exist or the company has closed it, it's a company you call or, or anything. Um, the last status you can give is the automatic uh, redial, it's answering machine, so if you do however reach some voicemail, then yeah, you simply just press it. Okay, so actually what you can see now is that all of your leads are in here. Every time you go to a new lead, or every time you save a lead, you go to a new lead. If you do not want to go to the next lead, then you will close lead. Uh, close the dialer after this lead and then let's assume that we called her and she wasn't answering so simply just do this and then we're out again. So this is actually how the dialer is working. So you call the leads and you save them with a status, either you call them back or you close them with a success and or stuff like that. Okay, so what else I can, I can talk to you about is that we do have some statistics and reports. Uh, it's important to many companies that having some reports uh, on the on how the performance actually is on the users or on the campaign. Um, so if we go to reports, we can say, okay, I want to see, let's assume we just create a, a brand new one. I want to see how many successes is made on the active campaigns this week. And then I'll simply just up, uh, up, update the view. And then you will see that there is one success because I do created one success. Yeah, you can have many KPIs as you want, you simply just uh, put them in. Um, what you can also do is you can go to the warehouse because let's assume that you, you know, okay, I've, create, I've made one success, but I don't want to see how many, I want to see which success. Then you can go to the warehouse. In warehouse and in leads, you can actually find all of your leads. Um, it just takes all your leads right away, but you can then filter your way through it. So let's assume that you only want to find the one where the status is success. Then you simply just do it like this and then we can find the success. Um, there is many, many other cool features in Adversus, but this was just a quick way for you to get started. Um, however, the last thing I want to do is I want to tell you that if you do have any questions, you are more than welcome to contact us. You can see the, the chat and email support right here. Oh, sorry about it. <laughs> it will open and then you can email us or you can chat to us in, in our support hours. So. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can use this one. Again, it's just a quick way, but 
please, please contact us if you do have any questions or we can be at help in any way. Thank you very much. Have a nice day and bye.